Hello and welcome to Italy. I'm in the beautiful city of Florence and I'm here in the Piazza Signore. Uh, this is actually where the opening scene of the show, Light in the Piazza, takes part. We have the two main characters, Clara and her mother, uh, stood in the square and they're admiring the beautiful architecture and the statues and talking through their, um, their tourist guide. And they talk about this tower which is behind me and how it would ring a bell of a warning for a river overflowing. Uh, and that's what we're going to be talking about in this video. We're going to be talking about the flood that occurred in here in no on November 4th, 1966. And we're going to be talking about the impacts of that on the city and especially on its culture and the damage it, it did to this city. So do join us uh, as we take a tour. So the cause of the flood was this river, the River Arno, overtopping its banks um, when the water level got so high. So you can see actually Florence is the risk of flooding is quite low, but when it does happen, you, you, you can see just how dramatic it must be uh, for those water levels to go over the, the, the banks of this river. So all that water came from the Apennine Mountains behind me, you can just see them there. Um, and because of the topography that kind of funnels all that water down here, which causes the water level to rise. So I'm in San Remigio. Behind me on this building, there is a flood mark. It's about three or four meters up, so it just shows how deep that water got. And the reason the, we, the, the water got so deep was because these streets are so narrow and surrounded by really tall buildings and that funnels the water making it flow really fast so this flood was really damaging because of that so these tight narrow streets really push the water together forcing it high up and you can see from the flood mark right up on this building here by the window that the water level reached the first floor of a lot of these buildings so the 1966 floods in uh, Florence uh, were described as the worst flooding here since 1557. And you can actually see the difference between the two events on this wall behind me, where there's two flood marks. The lower one, the longer one, that, was, uh, that marks the height of the 1557 flood here. The taller one, about 70, 80 centimetres higher, that's from the 1966 flood. So behind me there's actually three flood marks on this wall. So if you look just above the bike, there's one, this, the lowest one is from 1547. Just above that one is from, is from 1844. And if you look right up at the window on the first floor, that's the 1966 one. So you can just see how much bigger that flood was compared to the others. So behind me here on the banks of the River Arno is the National Central Library. Uh, this was really badly affected by the flooding. Uh, a third of its collection, a massive 1.3 million books were damaged, covered in mud, the pages torn out from the spines of the books because of this flooding. Uh, what happened was there was a group of volunteers who came and cleaned up all these books and all the artwork in the city that was destroyed and they were called the uh, Mud Angels and they're regarded as heroes in this city. 